Hey guys, good morning from Tokyo. I'm on the like edge of Tokyo today, right on the edge between Tokyo and Chiba Prefecture. And I am attending a kimono making class today. Behind me, you can see all these kimono. I get to choose the one that I wanna work with. I don't know too many details about it because my friend who hasn't arrived yet, I hope she's okay, <laughs> she should be here any minute, but she's the one who signed us up for this class. Uh, I think we're gonna be making like obi, obi o tsukuru. Ah, kimono o tsukuru. Ah, kimono ah, Wow, okay, so apparently we're gonna make the actual kimono itself. So we get to choose the fabrics we want to use, and I can't wait, it's gonna be so fun. I've never, yeah, I've never done anything like this before. I've worn a kimono a couple times for photo shoots, but I've never been able to make my own, so this is pretty exciting. I will put the link to this Airbnb activity down below, so if you guys are gonna be in Tokyo, you can sign up for it yourselves, and let's get started. So now for the hard part of choosing which one, and there's also a whole bunch more in here. There's so many to choose from. Uh, <laughs> oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> very, very colorful <laughs> socks. <laughs> this peach one's really pretty. My friend Dika has arrived! <laughs> Alright, so now we have the task of choosing a kimono. Do you know which color scheme you want? I was want? thinking either green or purple, but there are so many pretty ones to I know, choose right? From. Like, even if you choose the color you want, it still doesn't really narrow it down <laughs> much because I mean, there's even, so I many. I really like yellow, but this fabric is so nice. Yeah, it's there's some really green. fancy, yeah. or this light silky one. one. This one? Yeah, it's really cute. <sighs> I actually really like this. Oh, I really can't choose. This one reminds me of cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like this one, it's really pretty. Hmm. I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it with your hair color. Really? Yeah. Is it good? It's good. It looks cute on you. Do you want to try this one and see which one you like better? Yeah. Let me try perhaps. Yeah, try it. Let's see. Where's my hand? Oh, I really like that one too. Can I choose too? <laughs> this is Mio's dog also wearing a kimono. <laughs> so first Mio took the kimono that we chose from the rack and she laid out flat on the ground and she drew a line across it. And I was confused <laughs> because I thought what we were gonna do was like finish off this kimono. I thought it was one that was just started and it needed the final touches, but actually what we're gonna do is cut this kimono in half and fix it up so that it's like a two-part kimono that can be easily worn by one person. An actual kimono is pretty hard to put on by yourself, so this is kind of like a do-it-yourself beginner's kimono, which is neat. So we started off by cutting our kimono in half. And then we folded over a one inch hem on the bottom and ironed it flat so that it would stay. And then she gave us this sticky finishing tape. I forget the real term for this. <laughs> <laughs> if any of you are sewers out there, let me know. But we kind of just ironed that down with that sticky tape stuff and we didn't have to use a sewing machine for that part, so that was cool. All right, I'm all finished one. Looks, so you here on looks good so, so far. Japanese, so now I am attaching this 
little rope to the top part of the bottom half. I'm not quite sure what it's for. <laughs> I guess we'll find out when we go to put it on later. It's kind of hard because I need to pick up the top layer and make sure the thread doesn't show on the other side. It's a bit of a struggle. <laughs> it's supposed to bring back. <laughs> no, it went through. Oh, no. no. All right, so I've got my second tie on, oh, one on each that. side. Oh, this is the bottom saying. half, and oh. now I've got to do that again <laughs> on the top half. So look at my my beautiful handiwork. <laughs> really hope it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> Last time I was hand sewing something was probably making a cosplay in high school, <laughs> maybe like over ten years ago. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm doing it right. I'm scared my kimono is going to fall apart <laughs> if I try to wear it. So next we are sewing this strip onto the top half of the kimono. Again, not quite sure what this is for. <laughs> we will find out later on. You're on the last step. Yeah. You're almost there. I'm just sewing. A bottom mm. that I think is the final step, and then just circle it to attach this collar. Yep, I think so. To the neck part. I'm still working on this. <laughs> Halfway there. Oh my god, <laughs> my thread broke, so we had a bit of a an issue over here, but I think it's okay. Dika, how's it going? Let's <sighs> try. I feel like you're the best sewer out of all of us, though. No, Yours looks very neatly done. Not anymore. <laughs> Joy finish before all of us. So she's on the fun part. She's choosing like her colors to go along with her obi. <laughs> Beautiful! <laughs> nice work! Alright, I have finished sewing on the second white tie. So now all that's left Hi. is to do the little snap on the collar. And I'm all done! <laughs> this tie center, mm -hmm. stitch please. The best only top material stitch. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All finished! <laughs> yes! <laughs> no blood. <laughs> I did well. <laughs> So, can you change it? Like that? I guess. Beautiful. So, we made an easy version of a kimono. It can be put on very easily by yourself with these strings. It's really cool. Color the dots purple, purple and orange. Mm -hmm. Very colorful. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Beautiful. All done. <laughs> Ta-da! I have an interesting assortment of colors going on here, but <laughs> I think it works. <laughs> uh, Mio prepared a little snack for us. That was a nice surprise. Look. Yummy mochi and green tea. Oh my god, it looks so good. If you guys are interested in coming to make your own easy to put on kimono, I will put the link down below to the Airbnb activity where you can sign up. The host's name is Mio-san. She's really sweet and she speaks some English. So if you don't speak Japanese, that's okay. She will definitely help you out in English. I had a really great time. It was lots of fun. It was really cool getting to choose all the colors and the parts to put with your kimono. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you soon. Bye!